Ladies, thank you very much. You did a wonderful job today. Let's give, give America's sweethearts another round of applause. I'd like to introduce somebody who is uh, very special to Project Liberty Ship just because of his perseverance. This is John Mocek, and this is his 15th Liberty Ship cruise. John's from Boston, and he drove down here to uh, to make the cruise. So that's uh, even even more important to uh, to have somebody travel that far. Fifteen cruises. It's almost as many as I've made. We'll see you for number sixteen. Ladies and gentlemen, it's been a great pleasure having each of you aboard the John W. Brown today. We sincerely hope you've enjoyed the voyage and that you'll tell your friends about it, that you'll sail with us again in the near future. <laughs> we were indeed fortunate to have such a fine group of entertainers with us today. Special thanks to those individuals and groups who contributed so much to the crew. Thanks to American Sweethearts who sang so wonderfully today. And our barbershop quartet. Yeah, I like that. Look at this and ship here. They, they painted it rust, so you never have to mess with it. To our efforts to return you to the days of World War II. And thanks to Patty Gallagher and Mike Schneider, who has talked about that day to the light show. Chaplain Mueller, who led our memorial service. Even though they can't hear me, thanks goes out to the owner pilots of the vintage World War II aircraft that put on our ear show today. They add a unique dimension to our living history cruises and the aerial movements of the restored The Maryland pilot for today's voyage has been Captain Brian Groovy of the Association of Maryland Pilots. Thank you, Brian. Sometimes in thanking all the fine individuals who come aboard to share their talents, we forget those who are really responsible for the success of Project Liberty Ship, the crew of John W. Brown. The talent and dedication of these volunteers, not a group has ever received a penny in wages, are truly remarkable. And the man with overall responsibility for the safety of the ship and crew is, of course, the master of the ship, Captain Jeff Gumport, who has been directing the movements of the ship from the open flying bridge for most of the day. After the ship is moored, it will take some time to get the gangway securely in place and provide for your safe debarkation. Please give the crew the time and space needed to accomplish this task. From the time the first mooring line is ashore, usually takes at least 30 minutes before you can begin to disembark. Yeah, that's a Thank you and have a safe journey home. <laughs>